Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we're going to deal with another question from alcohols, phenols and ether. This is question number 11.2, which deals with writing the structures of IUPAC names uh, given here. So there are around 10 of these and we're going to solve one by one, writing down this name of the structures. So before we move on to the video, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive new videos as and when I upload the video. Alright, so let's move into the uh, solving part. So here we're given a lot of names of IUPAC naming. Uh, let's see individually how you're going to write the structures for it. So the last video was all about, uh, you know, trying to write the draw the structures for a name given. This is going to be other way around where the names are given and you're going to draw the structure. So the first one here is 2-methyl-butane-2-all. So first thing is whenever you get any names like this, for you it's important to identify which is the parent hydrocarbon. So here the first one it says 2-methyl-butane-2-all. So in this the parent hydrocarbon is butane-2-all. So here let's write the first one. Butane is a 4-carbon chain. So draw the 4 carbons. At the second position it says 2-all which means the alcoholic group. And then the substituent here, it says 2-methyl. So on the same carbon, I'm going to put a CH3, which is 2-methyl. Then the remaining is for us to put the hydrogens based on the valency of carbon. So this will be CH2 and CH3. So that brings the structure of the first name. All right. Now, the second one is, under the second one, you have 1-phenyl-propane-2-all. Again, in this case, the parent hydrocarbon is a propane to all so propane meaning you're going to have a three carbon chain and at second carbon you're going to have an OH grouping and one phenyl it is given so on the first carbon I'm going to draw a benzene ring all right the remaining carbons you just put the hydrogens based on the valency so this is the structure for the second naming now the third one is 3,5 dimethyl hexane 135 triol. So, in this case, the um, parent hydrocarbon is hexane 135 triol. So, let's draw the structure. Hexane meaning I'm going to have a 6 carbon chain. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, it says 1,3,5 triol, which means you have 3 alcohol uh, substituents. So I'm taking this as the first one with OH, then the third carbon, and then the fifth carbon. So that fills up the parent hydrocarbon. Then it says a 3,5 dimethyl. So at position number 3, I have a methyl group, and position number 5, I have another methyl group. Now that we've filled all our substituents and the parent hydrocarbon, fill in the number of hydrogen atoms for each carbon. So that completes the entire molecule. Alright, so that completes the third structure also. Next, the fourth one is 2,3 diethyl phenol. So, in this case, your um, parent hydrocarbon is phenol, and phenol means you have al your benzene ring with an OH over here. And it clearly says it is 2,3 diethyl. So, this is going to be the first carbon that's bonded to OH. Either clockwise or anti-clockwise you can go. And you can put at position number 2, one ethyl group. And at position number 3, another ethyl group. Alright, so that is basically what your fourth structure is. Then you have fifth one, which is says 1-ethoxypropane. Uh, so, here, propane is going to be the parent hydrocarbon. So I'm going to write the propane chain here, which is only with carbons. So I have three carbon chain. And then it says one ethoxy. This is going to be an ether. So one ethoxy meaning I'm going to have oxygen. And this oxygen is going to be bonded to an ethane chain. So this is going to be the ethoxy part. Now here I'll put the remaining hydrogens. Alright, now this completes the fifth structure. Okay, that's an ether molecule. Then the next one is the sixth one, 2 ethoxy 3 methyl pentane. So, in this, the parent hydrocarbon is a pentane. So, let's do that. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
Now here it says 3 methyl. So I'm just going to put 3 methyl over here. And it says 2 ethoxy. So at carbon number 2, I'm going to put an ethoxy that is O and a C2H5. Okay. Now the remaining part is to fill in the hydrogens based on the valency of each carbon. This is an ether molecule here. All right. Now, next one is the sixth one, the seventh one, which is cyclohexyl methanol. Okay. So here you're going to have methanol. So I'm just write it here, which is the seventh one. Methanol is just you have a one carbon chain. Methanol is just a methyl alcohol so it's just a one carbon chain directly bonded to an OH. Now that says that it is going to be 3 cyclohexyl which means to say that uh, where is it now ah, cyclohexyl methanol so that means this particular group should be bonded to a cyclohexyl group uh, just a six carbon chain and fill in the hydrogens. Alright, now next one is the eighth one. There it is 3 cyclohexyl pentane 3 all. So the parent hydrocarbon is pentane 3 all. So let's draw a pentane chain first. 5 carbon chain. On position number 3, I have an all. And then it says at position number 3, I also have a cyclohexyl group. So I'm going to put a 6 carbon ring over here. And this is the cyclohexyl group at position number 3. Now fill in the remaining hydrogens based on the valency of carbon. Alright. And that's the final answer. Then I have the ninth one. Cyclopent 3 in 1 all. So the parent hydrocarbon has an in as well as an on all. So let's first draw the molecule. So I have a pentane chain. Now to this pentane chain at position number 3, that's carbon number 3, I need to put a double bond. And at first carbon, I need to put an OH. Alright, so this is going to be, uh, just a minute, cyclopent 3 in, okay, that's, there's a mistake, just give me a minute. There's a mistake here. Just a moment. It's not a pentane chain. So here for this it's going to be, it says cyclopentane. So here it's going to be a ring structure which is 5 membered. Okay. OH is on the first carbon. So this is 1, 2 and 3. So here I'll have a 3 in. Alright. So that makes the ninth one. Tenth one is 4 chloro 3 ethyl butane 1 all. So here the parent hydrocarbon is butane 1 all. So let me draw the butane chain. Okay. And 1 all meaning at the first carbon I am putting an OH. It says 3 ethyl. So the third carbon I am putting an ethyl group. And it says 4 chloro. So fourth carbon I am putting a Cl atom. So I have placed all the groups. Let's fit in the uh, hydrogens now. This makes it H2, H and H. So here all molecules have been named accordingly uh, and the structures are also given here. So here you just have to follow the same thing. Find out the parent hydrocarbon first and then accordingly put the uh, other groups in it so that you can, you can easily put in the groups correctly at the correct spaces provided. Alright, so I hope this video has been helpful for you all to solve these, uh, this particular question.